<laughs> What's good with y'all, man? So guys, listen, I had an important question here. How to turn women on without even saying anything, right? Without even, uh, you know, actually touching them yet. You haven't said anything, verbal communication, you haven't even touched them yet, physical communication, right? To start this off, body language, guys, is a key factor. Body language is a key factor. You gotta know something, and that's that a lot of times women, when it comes to flirting, when it comes to seduction, when it comes to all this kind of stuff, it is nonverbal. You'll see a chick that just look at you. How many times have y'all seen the chick that's attracted to you? And she like looks and she gives you that look like she just wants to, you know, she she kind of, it, it's it's in a position. Like I'm, I'm explaining this to you guys. As a taller man, I'm six foot two, six foot two and a half, six foot three, some, somewhere around there, right? And, you know, when the chick is uh, uh, coming up to me and she's extra, extra like freaky or something, I can tell because... You know, when she's feeling me, a lot of times these girls will look up at me like with this seductive, like, I just want to get on my knees right now and suck your meat type of look. And if you guys, you know, understand that, then you will know that, hey, when it when it shows up, a girls, girls would be really open. Their body language would be real open. It'll be real provocative. And, you know, at, at that point, guys, it's up to you, man. And you, you discernment, right? Use discernment. I always say that. Hey, if she's a thought and you want to mess with her, that's on you, bro. Be careful. You know, I'm always promote that. Be careful out here in these streets. But, you know, chances are a lot of these girls, man, they will literally show you what they're about, man. They'll be open to you. They'll show body language that when they're facing towards you, you know what I'm saying? Their legs are crossed toward you. Their legs might be open towards you. Who knows? But a lot of times, guys, when you're using nonverbal communication, it's about that. And when you take it a step further, this is what it's about, man. It's about the look that you give her, right? We talked, you know, I got I got seduction part one on YouTube, part two is on Patreon, and I got a course on seduction. So, you know, I got a lot of stuff, free eBooks, got a lot of courses and all, you know, kinds of material on this stuff. But guys, what it's about is seducing her with your eyes, seducing her with, you know, your, your body, your, your, you know, all that kind of communication is nonverbal. And that's what you're going to use to essentially get this girl to think about you nonstop or, or to come up to you and, and give you the same kind of energy or, or, you know, reciprocate the same kind of attraction to, to start flirting with you also, or, you know, chances are they're already giving that to you through the body language. So you just got to capitalize on it. See, a lot of times these girls just want a man that is just have the balls enough, you know what I'm saying? Grab his sack and be like, hey, nut up. All right. Give her that same kind of energy and, and don't care who's around because they, they want a guy that's just going to be bold and, and all this stuff. So you you give her the same kind of energy, man. She's going to reciprocate it, man. Chances are she's going to reciprocate it. All you got to do is keep going from there. You know what I'm saying? It's really in the eye contact. The body language is one thing, but that gives you a hint, right? It gives you a hint. Unless she comes up and starts throwing that ass on you, hey, then that's, boom, that's it right there. Boom, you got it, right? Boom, you got it. But chances are, you know what I'm saying, if she's open to you, you notice her turning her body towards you, and then you see, you know, her look upon you, her gaze upon you, and she's staring at you, and you catching her staring at you and stuff, that's cool. Like, we're, we're, we're translating choosing signals to the actual physical escalation. So in between there is how are y'all interacting through body language, right? Is the body language on point? Like, is she is she giving you these looks of, you know what I'm saying, really seductive, ho-ish? I'm, hey, I'm going to call it, I'm going I'm to speak on it. You know, it is what it is, man. They give very ho-ish vibes to you. They're really open towards you, but then let let uh, Kirk come up and he's like, hey, how you doing? And, he, and she's all back to, oh, yeah, how are you doing? Like, she's it's a whole different vibe with that guy. But when she's looking at you, hey, who knows? You might be able to get your meat sucked right in front of everybody in public. Hey, man, capitalize on it, guys. That's why I say eye contact is so important, guys. And don't be looking like, like guys, you can't be coming off with this shy look, this, this, uh, you know, what really helps, guys, you know, we'll get some thinking about you, you know, turn on a woman non-verbally, turn on a woman without even saying anything to them you know, without even touching them yet is your eye contact, but also how you carry yourself. Like 
you know, are you looking at her? And then, you know, you kind of looking away like you're, see, see, the thing is when you're uninterested, but you're interested at the same time, it sounds crazy. I know, but that's what it is, guys. You're sending mixed signals yourself. You're sending mixed signals to this girl. Like, Hey, you know, I'm kind of, I, I might let you suck my meat right in public. I'm about that. But at the same time, eh, I'm on the fence. You know what I'm saying? You got to draw them in with that. You draw them in at first and then you kind of go back and forth with it. You play with it a little bit. And that's the thing, guys. Women are going to say whatever they want to say. Oh, well, you're manipulating. You're playing games. No, that's her, right? That's her. These women really like to do that stuff. And all I'm telling you guys is, hey, this is what they do. You flip it back on them this way. Right, so it's kind of like you're dangling, you know, some fruit in front of their face. Like, I know you like these edible arrangements, bitch. Hey, listen, it's a pineapple right here. I'm putting this in your face. Hey, yeah, yeah. Come get it. Act like you're interested. And, you know, you're giving the eye contact like you are. You're giving the body language also. You're reciprocating. But then you kind of turn away. Be the first to do this. Right? Be the first to kind of turn away. It's, it's a little hint of rejection there, but you're still interested you know what I'm saying? Turn away, but look back. They love it, bro. They love it. Like, I I, I can't stand hearing girls say it because really what it is, is when they try to deny this or they try to say, oh, that's bad. That's toxic. It's good. It's good. I know what works, guys. And, and I'm just telling you what the deal is, man. They know how, you know, they're stimulated mentally. They're stimulated through you know, these games that they like to play, you play these games, you throw the games at them. You throw the games at them and you let them figure out what the heck they want to do. That's entertaining for them. They always like, like I've always said before, guys, their emotions are always on a roller coaster, right? It's always up and down. Well, you're keeping this way. With the, it's the same thing with this seduction that you're using, with with the uh, with the attraction that you're using. You're like, hey, I'm interested also. Is she looking at you like she wanna suck your meat? And you like, oh, hey, I might just let you suck my meat. And then she's like, oh, you know, before she hits this, you start this off. You start the downturn, right? It hits the climax and then you start the resolution first. You're like, ah, no, I don't know. And, and but, but you're still playing with her, right? Cause it's still at a certain level, you're still playing with her. You know what I'm saying? With your eyes or, you know, you still flirting with her, like giving her eye contact, looking at her ass and looking up at her while she notices you looking at her ass like, yeah, I want some, but not really. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what that downturn is. You know, you're playing with their emotions. You're playing with their mental game because they need it stimulate. It's not because we like to play games, right? It's not because we like to play games. And I've said this before, guys. If anything, you're giving the controller to them and you're like, hey, here's the controller. There's a controller to this PS5. Boom, here you go. And she's like, oh, I'm playing a game. I'm playing it. It's so entertaining. It's so interesting. Females always need to be entertained. That's why you got to switch up. You got to switch it up on them. Don't let them figure you out from the get-go. Don't show your whole hand, right? If we're playing poker, don't show your whole hand. Show two cards. Your two cards that you're showing, guys, is that eye contact you give her back, right? It's that body language you're reciprocating from her also, right? So you take that to the next level by kind of just playing with it, right? So she also thinks, hey, I'm playing this game, but really is, it's your console. Bro, you made the fucking game. So how is she gonna sit here and feel it? Now, she feels like that. You let her be delusional. As long as you're controlling the delusion, guys, it's cool. That's when it works in your favor. Now, women are together all in day. They, they most of them live in delusion. Period. They think like, like they live life on easy mode for the most for the most part. Well, just give them the game and let them play on easy mode. At the very least, let them do that. So when you're you know when you're playing with them and you know you sitting here giving you feeding the the, the flirtation back. You're you're giving it right back to them, and then you're kind of back and forth with it, guys. That's just stimulating their desire to always be entertained. They always need something like, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like you put the bait out there, guys. You're putting the bait out there, but you're not easily caught, right? It's fun to be, you know, it's entertaining for them to be in the process of trying to catch the fish. But it's like, hey, well, this fish is a little bit harder to catch. You know what I'm saying? So that's what the back and forth is, guys. I'm trying to break it down so you guys just understand you know what I'm saying? Now, there is going to come a point where you do need to just keep it. Okay, bet. You know, you know, capitalize on it and seal the deal. 
but that's up to you. You want to make sure that you're not easily accessible. That's the whole point. Because chances are, hey, let's see if 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 everything is cool and you're able to just flirt with her, it's mutual, and she actually wants to suck your meat. You know what I'm saying? You go to the back, you capitalize on that, you get your meat sucked. Hey, that's cool. That doesn't happen all the time though, right? So so if she's interested sexually that way or physically that way, all right, cool. But let's say you're only able to just get her number for whatever reason and she's hitting you up. All right, cool. But you still got to get out with her the next time, right? So so what is this period in between then going to be like? Does she really think that you're a catch? Does she really think that it's worth giving that also effort of pursuit? You know what I'm saying? Have you dangled it enough to make her want it bad enough? That's what this is doing, guys. You choose to pull the plug and, and try to shoot for it if you, you know, whenever you feel like, guys. And, you know, guys, I, I'm, I'm on a point where it's like you guys should understand when that point is because you will know her attraction, her interest when you're with the chick. If she's asking you about where you stay at or what you're doing after, it might be good to just pull that plug and be like, okay, you know, keep the flirting game up, but don't be pulling back so much. All right, no games. But if she on this, you know, she might be on that tip. You don't know if you can smash that night. Bro, make sure you're a catch that needs to be chased. You make sure that, right? They still like that. See, when that case, they like that tease back and forth. That's just how women are, guys. That's how you turn them on. You'll make sure that they want you, you know, they'll want to get up with you because of just the process that you actually took them through mentally. And just, they see, that's exciting to them. That's exciting to them. You weren't just easy to figure out like that. You know what I'm saying? And you'll catch up with them later. You turned her on, bro. You didn't say nothing. It's all started off from body language, eye contact. That's what it all started off with.